Welcome back to Piers Morgan and Sense. In the last couple of hours, Johnny Depp has hit the red carpet at the Cannes Film Festival as his new film, Jean de Barry, opens the event. This is him on the red carpet. You can hear at the end of this a cheer for Johnny. And he got cheered when he went inside the auditorium. But it's been an outcry from Amber Heard supporters and some French actresses with the hashtag Can You Not accusing the film festival of celebrating abusers for 76 years. Now, Johnny Depp was vindicated at his recent trial in America with Amber Heard ordered to pay him $10 million and basically exposed as a liar. So does Johnny Depp have the right to relaunch his career? Or is Hollywood being hypocritical by celebrating someone who'd even been accused of such behaviour and, of course, lost a libel case in the UK. Well, joining me now is Nick Wallace, author of Debt Be Heard, The un Unreal Story, and the family law barrister Paula Roan Adrian. OK, Nick, it's an interesting thing. Johnny Depp welcomed like a movie star, as he has been since he won this case in America. Been mobbed. Been mobbed, but he doesn't have a completely clean slate because he lost the libel action in the UK. A judge ruled that the son, basically, by calling him a, a wife beater, uh, that they were entitled to do that. So it's messy. And there's no doubt that this relationship with Amber Heard was extremely mutually toxic and abusive. It just comes down to how you categorise who was more to blame and what the abuse was like, which I think your book does in, in a lot of detail. I think the point about Johnny Depp tonight is, should he be continued to be fated as a blemish-free movie star in the way we're seeing at the Cannes Film Festival? Well, I'm sure he would say he had the right to do that, having got the verdict that he did in Virginia, and this huge wave of public support that followed it all the way up to... Well, what verdict. about the other verdict in London? Well, this is always going to be the fly in the ointment. Mr Justice Nicholl, a learned, respected judge, spent three months looking over the transcripts, the evidence, and all the contemporaneous documentary evidence, which he, which he did place a huge amount of weight on. And after three months, he decided... He came down very firmly in favour of The Sun. Yeah. Amber Heard was the star witness in that trial. He essentially believed what she had to say and ruled that on 12 separate occasions, Johnny Depp did physically abuse So where does that him? leave where does that leave him in the in the court of public opinion? You've got to say Johnny Depp appears to pretty well be unanimously the winner. Well, he is the winner, but as, as you know, it's all about the money, isn't it? And this has now come out of the courts and is now in the hands of the Hollywood studios. Johnny Depp has been on this incredibly well-managed rehabilitation mm. arc since last year. He went on tour with Jeff Beck, was mobbed everywhere he went. Dior just gave him a $20 million contract, he, the highest ever for a man with a fragrance. He's right? co-producing a movie with Al Pacino. This is a really important step on his road to rehabilitation, opening the Cannes Film Festival. He's got the European movie makers behind him, the standing ovation in the theatre. What he needs now is to get to Hollywood. He needs Disney to say, OK, you can have a lead part or a bit part in the next okay. Pirates movie. Paula, mm. should... should Hollywood or a firm like Disney do that with Johnny Depp? Does he deserve to be brought back? I mean, the hypocrisy of the Cannes Film Festival, it's an incredibly glamorous event. I've covered it many times myself. But they fated people like Roman Polanski, who's a fugitive child rapist, yes. um, who escaped justice for what he did. So they've got a long history of tolerating this kind of thing. They do say, some of the festival organisers, they prefer to celebrate the art rather than the person, which is an easy get out, but some people do think that. Um, where do we stand with Johnny Depp? Though? <laughs> Celebrating the art and not the person. I would accept that if it was Amber Heard who was on the red carpet. I would accept that. Why would um, you? I would accept that, that we were celebrating the art and not the person, if it was Amber Heard who hadn't lost her L'Oreal contract. I would accept that, that we were celebrating the art and not the person, if Amber Heard wasn't hounded by 4.5 million people to sign a contract so that she didn't get to partake in the Aquaman 2 role. But we're not celebrating the art. We clearly are celebrating the person. And this is what concerns me, particularly when we know that two women a week die because of abuse from their partners. We but are an celebrating American, but abuse. But an American is. court trial determined at the end of it that they didn't believe her, that she was a liar. It is clouded by what happened in London, no question. But the most recent test of the veracity of both of their claims about what went on that marriage was an unequivocal win for Johnny Depp. 
And he has taken that, as you would understand. It was a 2 to 1, wasn't it? It was a 2 to 1. Yeah, but he won. So, it, you know, in terms of the finances, he came out better, of course, than Amber did. What Amber wanted was that unequivocal win, the same win that she was able to obtain but she didn't uh, get it. on behalf of the son, and she didn't get it. So, why That's shouldn't right. he be allowed to continue with his career? As I. I haven't said he shouldn't be allowed to continue with his career. What I'm concerned about is the fact that they're not being treated equally. And what we have is a society who seems to accept that it's OK for a man to be an abuser, but it's not OK for a woman. They have both uh, sent out... They sent out a joint statement to suggest that the relationship was volatile. They accepted that. This was when the marriage was settled. But then yes, Amber Heard right. went out of her way to become a spokesperson for gender-based violence right. based on her relationship with Johnny Depp. And that is the point at which Johnny Depp said, well, hang on a minute. And why was she wrong to do that? Well, why was she wrong to identify that she believed that she was a victim of domestic abuse because we as found in the British courts? Why was she wrong but to have done that? But why are you keener... Because she didn't, yeah, look Paula, like why, perfect, why... she didn't look like a perfect victim. Tim Pierce. Well, she, she was supposed to sit quietly. With respect, she was no, to hang, on, to the hang abuse, on, hang on, but she didn't. Hang on, stop painting her as some kind of angel. Amber Heard was not on the an angel. Country, Amber Heard, in, from what everything I saw, did some terrible acts of abuse, both physical, verbal. We saw it, we heard it, we heard the evidence, we saw the pictures, and so on. She's not an angel in this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the question is, I think, when you get a situation that's messy like this, what happens to the main? people involved, right? And you might be right, there has been a double standard. Johnny Depp tonight, we've got the pictures now inside the auditorium at the Cannes Film Festival of this standing ovation he got. Listen to Johnny some of Depp, this. My Wen, one of the first uh, strong pictures, hand in hand. Now, that's pretty... That's a pretty un, yeah, unequivocal, emphatic voter support from the movie industry. <laughs> but this is about money. I mean, it's a huge snub to Amber Heard. Yeah. Amber Heard, don't forget, is the only person in this couple at the moment who's got a big Hollywood movie From coming everything out. you've read She's about... She's in Aquaman too. Right, so, Nick, you, you've researched them better than most people in this fascinating book. From everything you've gleaned here, where does the truth lie, do you think? Well, one thing that I have learned from studying this case and, and reporting on both of them on the ground is that no-one has a monopoly on truth. Not a High Court judge, not Johnny Depp, not Amber Heard... Or on being not, a victim. Not seven... Well... This is, this is where you get right into the culture war, because mm. there is an argument on, I would say, the feminist side that there can only be one abuser in a relationship. The concept of mutual abuse, which came up in the Virginia mm. trial, is something that I don't know whether pe colleagues of yours would say does not exist, because it allows abusers to say, ah, you're abusing me, you're the problem in this relationship, and it can turn things on its head. So we have a real issue where people say, of course you can have mutual abuse in a relationship. Mm. Amber Heard admitted to physically hitting Johnny Depp right. on a number mm. of occasions. Mm. But does that make her an abuser, or does that make her someone responding Do you know with what? I, reactive My, my takeaway, Paula, at the end of it was they had a highly toxic alcohol and drug fueled relationship, mm. which spilled over into verbal and physical violence, right? And this went on for quite a long time. And actually, they are both... I wouldn't say equally, cos I wasn't there, I don't no, know. No. But they both certainly contributed to the blame of the breakdown of this relationship this, um... with their behaviour. And so I don't see two angels, um, but I'm not quite sure where the scales lie, given mm. we've now had two court cases, one complete exoneration eff effectively for Depp, and the other one... The opposite. Yes. And, 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 and that sounds very reasonable, sitting here in the studio. But what's the message that's been sent to victims of abuse? The message that's been sent to victims of abuse, particularly women, is don't speak out if your man is rich and powerful. Or if you're lying. That's the message. Or if you're lying. Well, in this country, well, Amber Heard, she's not In America, Amber Heard, it was determined she lied, right? So this is, this is where it gets more complicated. You have a Hollywood star, Amber Heard, mm. who plays the victim tries to cash in on being a victim, writes op-ed pieces in serious newspapers and does all that stuff, promoting herself, so promoting her brand as a... Should she have kept her mouth shut, Piers? I'm not should saying she, that. Should she have kept her mouth shut? I'm not shut? saying that. Should but she not have voiced no, but Paula, your what position, she's gone no, through? No, no, but your argument that we so should... So it's all... right that she spoke out? No, no, but, well, she's entitled to. Absolutely. But then she's also... Johnny Depp is entitled to defend himself and he did win the case in Which America. Which he has done. And my but point is, I don't think she represents... taken aside. I don't think she represents your average Joe victim in the street.
So I think drawing that parallel who to me is, is wrong. Who is that average Joe? This is exactly the problem. We have a preconceived view of what an abuser looks like. And having that preconceived view means that we then challenge a person when they come forward, when they speak out. We say, no, you can't be the one who suffered because you look like this. No, you can't be the one who suffered Why because we, you were wearing a short skirt. Yeah, Paula, you can't be the one Paula, who suffered because you were drinking alcohol. Paula, I don't you want to interrupt you, but I'm going to interrupt because... you. <laughs> Uh, to say this, I recently interviewed a young man who'd been part of this appalling case up north where a woman fantasist yes. had assaulted herself yes. and then blamed a bunch of innocent men. Yes. And this guy went to you know, prison for several months yes. and was facing 20 years in, in prison. But eventually she got exposed, right? I don't believe in always believing people um, or categorising well, everyone who comes forward right, as a victim. And well, there, right. well, there's an automatic... You are, you are, you are clearly innocent. telling the truth. I believe in respecting people, in listening to them and examining the facts and see where that takes you, because otherwise... You're going to get fantasists and people if, if gaming the system. If that was correct, Piers, if our society was built on that fairness, then we wouldn't have had Rochdale, we wouldn't have had Rochester, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have had the low stats that we know exist in terms of reporting. But okay. when Amber Heard came out with what she said, she was believed. Mm -hmm. Johnny Depp's career went into a tailspin. And as far as he was concerned, he was an innocent, wronged man. And so he went to court to restore his reputation, yeah. which he has a right to do. And we know how it panned out. It panned out with a lot of cognitive dissonance because we're trying to work out how a British jurisdiction can say, yes, he is an abuser and a wife beater, and how the American public and an American jury mm. can say, no, absolutely not. She was the liar in all of this, which is what the fascination about this story is. But... When she came out saying, I was abused by Johnny Depp, his only recourse is through the courts. Because yeah. he, he couldn't do it any other way. And otherwise, his entire career was gone. And his entire career could have gone, if you believe the American trial, but, because of a liar. So it's, but it is complicated. I'm not saying for a moment he's blameless. I'm see, just I saying that... It, I, I don't, and exactly that. But I don't, think she, I don't think she is a great standard bearer for victims of domestic violence, given that she herself was so violent. Well, That's where... I'm sorry, well, I don't. But, but also, why, why is it that the Cannes jury have decided to really push this film to put it in the prestigious mm. opening slot? This is not, OK, what's the answer? Johnny Depp's got a right to work, but what's let's, the, what's let's the hold our nose and get... Well, the answer is, look at the film industry. What's it interested in? Bums on seats and money. Yeah. It's not there to make any more... The fact judgment. that Roman Polanski still gets standing ovations or, um, and the first one was led at the Oscars in absentia after he absconded from America to avoid justice for raping an underage girl. And that's what he did. I mean, the facts aren't contested. And he escaped justice and escaped justice for 50 years. He is still lauded around the world, including in Hollywood, as some kind of hero. I mean, it's, it, it is a morally bankrupt industry when it comes to these kind of things. Anyway... Uh, this is a morally unbankrupt book. Uh, <laughs> Debt v. Heard, The Unreal Story by Nick Wallace. Fascinating read. Uh, it's an, an extraordinary story. I know people who know Johnny Depp who absolutely love him. I know people who know Johnny Depp and say, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. I'll know the same with Amber Heard. I have no but idea. It's Amber who's had to run away and hide beneath the stone in Madrid somewhere, not Johnny. He's allowed on a red carpet. All right, we're going to leave it there.